Hi, the reason for this revised health testimony is that I wanted to read from more elaborate detail in my experience. I had people asking me uh, about the experience, but in more detail. So I decided to read from one of the emails that I wrote about my experience, and that way I don't miss anything from uh, telling you all. Uh, and so from the beginning, uh, my, and the, it, it was about going to hell. Okay, that was the experience I had. It was when I was 17. So um, I'll start now. All right, from the beginning, it started from sleep. And while sleeping, I was taken from my body. So it wasn't a typical dream, but more like my spirit was taken to another place in a vision or future place. I could think, feel, hear, see, etc. At the instant I was taken to this place, I could see nothing. It was pitch black to the point I couldn't see my hand in front of my face. I tried, but couldn't. Keep in mind, I, I was born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, so when I asked questions, the Spirit would answer them instantly for me. I could hear what sounded like thousands of people scream in agony as if they were on fire uh, or in, in unbearable pain but I couldn't see any people because it was so dark I asked the question what is in front of me immediately a radius of light came from me and allowed me to see about 15 feet in front I could then see people but the only thing different about them was their their pale faces the bodies were unclothed. There was a black flame that flickered to the height of the shoulders, and the shoulders, uh, their their uh, upper body shoulders were squirming randomly while they screamed furiously. What gave me a shock of horror was I recognized some of the faces of those in front of me, people that I had seen before, as if. What I had seen thus far wasn't horrible enough. Seeing their faces hit home. This leads me to the next question I asked, which was a result from the screams I heard. Why are they screaming like that? I can't properly describe the intensity of the screams, as they were much worse than what you could see or hear on earth or even imagine. I could see and hear the torment, of in their soul consciousness expressed completely in their voices their voices were projecting all of their pain in the worst imaginable way going back to the question I asked why are they screaming like this I was instantly given their full measure of thought feeling and emotions as if I was one of them God knew the only way for me to, to answer the only no the, hold on a second <laughs> God knew the only way to know the answer to that question was to be one of them to fully understand the magnitude of their experiences. I'll try to explain this the best way I can because it was very complicated, a very complicated pattern that repeated over and over. The, the pattern was hate, regret, and despair. And I'm going to break it down. Hate was that the hate was toward God and it poured out like a furious explosion of hate. The hate was based on blaming God and the hate was a coping mechanism for being in torment. Okay. Regret. After you hate you had the hate session, <laughs> then you went on to deeply regretting your choices, mistakes that led you there etc etc and then despair after you re after regret came into despair despair was so heavy you, you, I can't even try to explain this realization that I would never leave this place nor would I never stop thinking of what I uh, of what's going on and it would repeat all over again hate regret despair hate regret and despair and and uh, you know, like, like before, the reasons of hate, the reasons of regret, the reasons of despair were were within those 
So you'd be repeating this forever and ever. And that realization was was this enormous. All while all the while in the distance, while being tormented by hate, regret, and despair, I could see a circle of light in the sky. This is where heaven was, and I realized I could never go there, and it was where I would never see or be before God. You felt this huge emptiness of separation. It was the separation that was worst of all. If you remember that I said they were all burning in a black flame, well, the pain and the, from the spiritual and mental torment was worse than the flame burning them. They were so consumed with hate, regret, and despair that they didn't notice that they were on fire or with other people around them. When I was abruptly pulled out of this place, I came out while laying on my bed in the fetal position with cold sweat, trembling and crying to God, thanking Him for taking me out of that place. I was confused as to why God sent me there and remember asking Him, why did He show me that? I was so, so angry that I had to endure that horrible place that just for seconds. It, I wasn't there for 30 seconds maybe. I was thinking I could never, ever want anyone to go there, not even for a minute or a second. Years later I realized why I had to see this place because I could never understand why. God was showing me why Jesus needed to die. Jesus loved us so very much that he didn't want us to be separated from us and in order to understand why he didn't want to be separated he showed me this place it was that important it has nothing to do with God being mean and wanting to torment people it was that people will either accept God or not and those who accepted him will be with him. Those who did not accept him will be separated. And so in itself would become the torment of being separated. And it was all our choice. So that sums up my testimony. And thank you for watching it. God bless you.